so today uh, we're going to address uh, we're, we're going to address a, a big we're going to address a big event uh, at Nintendo. Um, I'm gonna let you go into it, Corey. So, uh, what's what's titillating you this week <laughs> about ba- Nintendo? Bowser is canon. No. Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> Yeah, uh, Reggie fils the kind of face, I would say, for Nintendo of America since, what, 2004, I want to say? Yeah. And the president for 13 years announced he is retiring in April. Yeah. Which is uh, kind of a, it's kind of surprising. I'm I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I, I think, like, you know where the switch is at and how successful Nintendo is right now. And I would kind of think you would want to kind of see it through, you know, all the mm-hmm. through, like at least until the switch has run its course and whatever Nintendo's doing next, then, you know, that would be a point to be like, you know what, that's a good place to hang it up. But yeah, man, that was, that was just kind of a random announcement. And did you watch the video that he posted, um, that Nintendo I, posted? I watched the one where he, it was like two and a half minutes and because I'm just waking up, like my memory is really bad. But um, I saw it was it was him talking about you know how he liked it, and it was interspersed with clips of him you know being Reggie mm-hmm. <laughs> in front of people. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and it was just my thoughts on it in general are like, wow, like. I, 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 I started repaying attention to video games at a point where, like, every time I saw Reggie's face, I was like, man, this guy is dumb. <laughs> but, but, like, I, I, have, I have slowly grown to, to see Reggie for the, the, adorable, the adorable thing he turned being the CEO of a company into. Um, and I feel like... I feel like that was all culminated that that one E3 where the Nintendo did a direct and it was him, Satoru Iwata and Shigeru Miyamoto as puppets. And all of them were sort of leaning into their own absurdity in a way that that was that was both smart and engaging that it was it's so much so that you you really couldn't you really couldn't hate him for it. Yeah, I mean when he when you know when Iwa, the Iwata puppet looks at Miyamoto and goes, "Hey Fox, do a barrel roll," or 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 you see him doing, you know, lifting weights. <laughs> Nintendo sixty three, Nintendo sixty four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just I remember the first time I saw Reggie like. It w- it was that uh, E3 conference because I was like, it was at a point where I was really getting back into games too. Like, uh, I got I got a GameCube and like I was, I really loved my GameCube and and uh, I was sitting in uh, where was I? I think I was I think I was just sitting in my bedroom at my parents' house and uh, yeah, man, he he was kind of like, ah, I'm Reggie. And I, I'm about kicking ass and taking names, and we're about making games. And mm-hmm. I was like, mm-hmm. Man, "This is this is very un Nintendo." Yeah, <laughs> you know. And and you know, from someone who who came from what was it like Pizza Hut and Reebok or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hmm, this guy, this guy definitely could sell some shoes. I feel like, you know, yeah, sell me some cross trainers. You know what I mean? But see, on the same token, like you, you look at you look at you look at just that brief chunk of his CV. You'd be like, "Yep, he could sell me shoes. He could sell me some pizza, and he could sell me some video games." Right? <laughs> oh man, yeah, it, it's it's weird, man. Like he he definitely kind of became the face of of Nintendo and like what we th- I at least what I think of as Nintendo like since then and I mean Satoru Iwata of course but mm-hmm. you know on, on this side of the pond Reggie is definitely the man and yeah. uh I, I it, it was it was a shock like I I was working I was at work and and Ed actually te- texted me and he's like 
Reggie just retired. I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? And I thought like, I thought it was just some dumb clickbait website or something. And he sent me the link and it was like the official like IGN link. And I'm like, oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And then it linked out to the uh, NOA Twitter and I watched that video. And yeah, man, it was it was kind of cool to see someone in this industry go out the way he's going out. It's not because of some scandal. It's not yeah. because he's sick. It's not because, you know, he cheated on his wife with someone and now he's like he has to forced out or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's nice to see like. It's not that crazy shit that's going on at Gearbox. Yeah, and it's crazy that like his normal retirement is a news story because it's it's, it's not something that yeah. usually happens recently. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm and, and like yeah, as and getting back to where I had be first become aware of Reggie, I was like, man, this guy's a clown. But over the period of time that I've been sort of paying attention to whatever degree I have been. It's, it's been nice to see CEOs like him and, and, uh, or presidents and like Jack Trenton. Like, I feel like Jack Trenton went out in a good way too. Um, I think Kaz, her, well, Kaz, her, he's still, he's just not at PlayStation. He's just all of Sony. Right. Uh, hmm. I, honestly, I don't know. I mean, the executive, executive, executive hierarchy and lineage, and lineage at any of these companies it gets me confused. But my point here is like, I'm gonna miss Reggie. He was he was an easy target, um, but also he he seemed to revel in that. He yeah. seemed to he seemed to like being the target because. You know, Nintendo would always have a way to 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 mess with to mess with things. Like when the like when the Vita were, or like when the Vita came out. This was after 3DS had, you know, been. I think it was less than a year after the 3DS came out, and Nintendo unleashed like I think Animal Crossing and Mario 3D Land to the point where where 3DS sales were. Just we're we're just tearing it up, and this was like less than a week before the Vita launched, and it basically took all the wind out of Vita's initial initial sales. Um, and and I feel and I feel like he the way he would pre, the way he would present things it was like super corporate, super straight laced, but he always had this little twinkle in his eye, like I'll find a way to mess with you a little bit. Yeah, or all the times he would, you know, point to a lapel pin and say, "I really like Metroid," and we still don't have a good Metroid out. <laughs> say what you want about Federation Force, Corey. I didn't say it was a good game. I said it, had, it was a cool idea. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's be fair. <laughs> uh, but you know, now yeah, I want to. I want to be a. I want to be a bounty hunter in the Metroid universe in a Destiny style game. Let me tell you. But that game. That game on the 3DS was not the way to do it. Now I know that I know that you're dialed into Nintendo more than I am. Um, you have any sort of like greatest hits of the Reggie Fizeme era? I mean, I didn't really like go out of my way to watch Reggie specifically, but like mm-hmm. you know, a lot of the E3 stuff or a lot of the things he would do in the Nintendo Directs, or you know, like when Iwata and Reggie would. F- did that smash brothers announcement skit where they were fighting each other. Uh, that was pretty yeah. funny or like the robot chicken, uh, stuff that they did. Oh, geez. <laughs> uh, that was pretty funny. Like when he, when they like, when he had a, fa- a fire flower and his suit went from black and gray to like white and red was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, you know, the star Fox puppets was, was pretty funny yeah. too, except star Fox puppets yeah. was, <laughs> was, was what's still- even funnier is that the game was not good. <laughs> Well, uh, it's a Star Fox game. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's true. I, I mean, I mean, Ubisoft made the best Star Fox game in years. Yeah, last year. So. Well, I think a lot of those, a lot of the Star Fox games are like remembered fondly. But I'll be honest with you, I don't remember having any fun with Star Fox 64. They just, they just don't age well. You know, mm-hmm. they just, they. I mean, the on rails 3D shooter is not a genre anymore. It needs to evolve. And and yeah, I get it. Like 
the internet is so stuck on i want the game this way but you know don't change it but make it look prettier and i'm like star fox but, can't survive in this in this ecosystem like that you know you have to evolve it you know you almost need something like you almost need something like uh anthem or destiny right now in, in a star fox game we're like you're going on missions to upgrade your ships it can be multiplayer you go do missions together you come back to your to the base or whatever and get your next mission and go out now it doesn't need to be destiny or, or anthem but you know and it needs to be kind of like a light rpg Mm-hmm. A light multiplayer RPG that you can go play with your friends. Yeah, well, and and I mean, Nintendo's always proven to be a company that will, will, they won't, they won't just, they won't put out whims. Like mm. they don't just be like, oh, well, let's try this with this IP. Or I still want or, that Star Fox racing game. Yeah, that'd be cool. But. But like you know, look at what they did with with Tetris ninety nine. I mean, if you told if you put the words Tetris and Battle Royale in the same sentence before two weeks ago, like, I would have been like, "What the hell are you talking about?" That doesn't yeah. make any goddamn sense. There's no goddamn way. But they released it for free, and it is one of the best Battle Royale games I've played, <laughs> if not the best. Um, <clears throat> And that's mainly because it doesn't step outside anything other than being Tetris. Uh, I mean, and I don't know how much Reggie plays a part in decisions like that. But, you know, everything, I mean, he, he's driving the Nintendo of America ship. Anything that releases under, while he's there, is is definitely his responsibility at some point. Because I bet you he has to sign something saying okay, do this. Um, and I think, I think he goes out well. I mean, the fact that the Switch is still... I don't think the Switch wave has crested yet. Uh, I feel like he, he, could, he can walk away, you know, with, with his head held extremely high with how, the, you know... They were trying to. <laughs> they were trying to. I mean, he definitely, he definitely had a roller coaster ride because, like, you know, he he went through the GameCube, which, you know, people look at that system fondly, but it only sold twenty million units. You know, now a lot of people were playing GameCube when the PS2 was out there, and then yeah, but he, like, he look, rode look, the look, highs look. of the Wii, and then came back down for the Wii U, and yeah, that, the Wii U was a crash landing of which there were very few survivors. And the fact that you know he comes out of that and then into an era of the switch, that's a that's a big turnaround. And I think I think if it were if it were me in that situation, this would probably be about the time I go out and be like, look, I'm not I don't think I'm gonna do anything better unless I fail super hard again. Mm-hmm. And if I fail super hard again, I'm probably not walking away from it. Yeah. You know, and I go out on a win, go out on a big win. And yeah. and I, I think he did that. Yeah, he def- I mean, he definitely has, you know, I mean, the Switch is a hit. It, this, I mean, the Switch is almost caught up to Xbox One in terms yeah. of sales, right? And and this year seems to be like a, a decent year for Switch again. You know, it's got a, mm-hmm. they've got a lot of first party titles. They've got a lot of partnerships in terms of, I guess you would call them second party. Like they, they've got it, you know, and they, there's still third party coming like big third party games like Mortal Kombat 11, Doom Eternal. Wolfenstein, like they, they've got the third party stuff there now. Granted, not really the best place to play those games, but still, I mean, if you're if you're invested in the Switch, you'll probably check out Doom or or Wolfenstein. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's that's where I played Wolfenstein too. Was was Switch? Uh, yeah, you know, and, and it's not the prettiest version, but it's it's ser- it's a serviceable version, and I give I give the Switch credit for that. But uh, you know, just the messaging of the Switch and his him bringing it kind of. Through the through the end of the Wii U and into the Switch was uh, it's interesting to watch for sure. Mm-hmm. And, and you know he's he's done a lot for the Nintendo community. He's done a lot for video games in general. And you know he, he I think I think the one big thing that we should credit him for is you know bringing personality to the executive 
mm-hmm. spot of, of game. Yeah. You know, like now we have Sean Layden and Phil Spencer and uh, Shuhei Yoshida. Well, not so much really anymore. Sh- Shuhei and Shuhei and Jack Trenton kind of started that, but I feel like I feel like Re- Reggie and Iwata leaned into it further. Yeah, and they got a bit more animated with it, and yeah. while you could. While anybody outside the industry could probably look at it and be like, man, this is incredibly wrong on so many levels, it also feels incredibly right. Mm-hmm. Uh, it feels incredibly right to, to us who yeah. care, care about this thing because it's just like. You like to, I mean, you like to see people you can relate to, you know? Like, yeah. Like, I mean, not that we can relate to being like the president of Nintendo, but we can relate to a, a, a personality that, that, you know, we can engage with and, and is personable and likable. And well, like getting back to the start to the, to the smash brothers where Iwata and here fighting, like that is totally something you and I would just do if we were playing next to each other on a game. Yeah. If we, we were fly like, through the if air. We, well, no, if, no, but like we would totally like mentally do that in our heads. If we were like in the same room, right. It would be, yeah. it would be something we'd pull off on, on NGR radio very well, but I still wouldn't put it past us for trying, but, but like the fact that you could look at it and, and as silly as it is, it's still relatable. Like it's hard to do. Yeah. It's not, that's not easy in any capacity. I don't care. I don't care how good of an actor you are. Yeah. And um, I, I think that, I think that's why a lot of people are kind of drawn to Phil Spencer too, you know, mm-hmm. because he's kind of, Similar, similar to Reggie in terms of being that personality in front, like the face of of the company, and proving that he he loves to play games just as much as the rest of us. And I think that really helps, yeah, him kind of fulfill that role because you know Microsoft's doing some interesting things. Whether it's going to help them out in the long run or not, we'll see. But uh, you know, right now they're they're doing some interesting things that you know I think maybe Nintendo has kind of looked at and said we can do that too with our classic stuff you know they've they've mm-hmm. done the kind of quote unquote game pass thing with their nes stuff so far and uh, i don't know man i i'm gonna miss reggie yeah i am too like, but but you know at, when he announced that i've been doing some research on on doug bowser which is just the which is so the perfect it is so to, it is so wrong and inappropriate but so so right yeah <laughs> if, if you want to follow on twitter it's pretty funny the real bowser is his twitter handle and uh are you kidding me no it's the real bowser is his twitter handle yeah he's pretty funny he's pretty funny he he like the first thing he tweeted was this picture that said thanks for the warm welcome and behind him, he had Mario and Luigi wrapped in like one of the, you know, those spiked cufflinks that Bowser wears. He had a Mario and Luigi. He had Mario and Luigi plushies like wrapped up in a Bowser in a Bowser wristband. He's it is pretty funny, uh, and he he seems like he gets it. You know, like he's he's playing along with the memes. Uh, he's liked a couple of the people who are sending his face photoshopped on on Bowser images. <laughs> And he's is it, like, is it just real Bowser or the real Bowser? It might just be real Bowser. Uh, so I mean, he he gets it. He seems like he's like really ready to step into that role. And uh, we were talking about it on Power Block the other day, where he he needs his kind of memeable moment, the way that Reggie did it, and then he'll be he'll just be like, it'll just be second nature to consider him the pres- president instead of Reggie, you know? But. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, man. He seems to get it. Uh, he does. He's been doing a lot of cool things online uh, recently for Nintendo to kind of be like, "Hey, I'm here." You know, I'm I'm the new guy. Uh, but I mean, he's he's been at Nintendo for four years, right? He held the same position Reggie held before he was president, uh, okay. the the executive vice president of marketing. He came from EA, and uh, before that. I forget where he was before that, but uh, he was at EA for like eight years, I think, and and uh, switched over to Nintendo when when I I don't know. There's some rumors that he left EA because of some of their kind of predatory microtransaction practices, and uh, but you know he found a home in Nintendo. He seems to be seems to be doing all right. So, all right, well, he's really playing into the Bowser thing though, which he is really should. Funny. He yeah. should. He uh, by all rights should. Yeah. 
If he comes uh, out, if he comes out on the next Nintendo Direct breathing fire, I will be. I w- my heart will be full. Yeah. So I mean, he he seems like a a cool dude. I'm I'm glad. Like this this kind of like this. I was thinking about it a lot, and like the Switch is really like it's not just the name of the console. It seems to be the shifting the focus of the company, and you know, I the Switch. I know switching presidents is like one thing. Uh, but you know they seem to be moving forward in a new direction, an interesting direction, and a creative direction, which is what uh, Doug Bowser is kind of known for: is kind of being creative with with ideas and things. So uh, it's going to be fun to see his take on Nintendo unfold in the next whatever few years, I guess. Okay. Yeah, and then yeah, we'll be, we'll be watching Doug. Yeah. Yeah, I saw this really funny. Don't mess this up. <laughs> I saw this really funny uh, uh, tweet the other day. It said, "How fitting is it that Nintendo hires a ha- hires an executive named Doug?" Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you thought it was just going to say Bowser like the uh-huh. rest of the internet, and it just says Doug. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, Um, so I think that, I think that concludes the Reggie talk.